Hi guys, I'm Mitchell Dale, joined by Martin Lenahan for RLW TV. Now, the TV rights deal for 2018 onwards, a couple of big losers and a couple of big winners. Leno, we'll start with the winners. It's got to be the fans. Four live games on free-to-air TV every week from 2018. Yeah, huge news for uh, for Channel 9, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, a couple of things there. You lose the dreaded two games on Friday night. Nobody's really been in love with that, having to sit up till... Uh, midnight to watch a second game full of ads so one game only on a friday which will be fantastic i think thursday night will be a big hit so for people who haven't got fox or can't afford fox this is a fantastic win to be able to see four live games every weekend great result yeah great result for them i would say not a great result for expansion clubs david smith said they're going to act in good faith and potentially look at a 17th club now their priority is definitely to get another team in brisbane so Perhaps it's not too bad for some of the leading contenders there, but for everyone else, it looks like they've been put way back on the on the back burner. Oh, I think you're out of the picture if you're looking at uh, Perth, another team in New Zealand. Brisbane has got to be the priority if they bring in another team. And to me, the way I'm reading this today, I don't really see it happening. This is 2018 already that we're looking ahead to, so you can forget about 16, 17 for another team. I don't really think they're looking at expanding beyond the number of teams they've got. So as you said, very bad news for a lot of those bid teams that have been working at this for so long to... Well, kept uh, a lot of them on the hook for a long time. And you look at the, the Central Coast Bears have been trying since the Titans came yep. in, but, but other bid teams like uh, Perth, like Wellington, like Central Queensland, they've been trying. They've just been kept at arm's length for a long time now. It looks like 2018 at the very earliest for one team. So pretty bad news there for the expansion teams. Finally, State of Origin on a Sunday, the second game in the middle of the series. A little bit odd. I think they've had a bit of a bet each way couple of Wednesday night games and then a Sunday game. Yeah, look, I think a lot of people thought it might go to a standalone weekend for the whole series. So you get the middle game on a Sunday as part of a full rep round. But, you know, look look at the elite players. They're still going to have to play. A lot of them will be involved on that weekend. They'll have a round the weekend before Origin and a round the week after. Now, it does save them backing up two or three days after Origin. And it does give a lot of the other NRL players, I guess, a weekend off who aren't involved in the, the rep round. So a bit of player welfare there. But again, as you said, you quite caught half in between. People thought the whole uh, series might go to Sundays and be standalone, so we're, we're kind of getting there. It's an interesting one. Yeah, anyway, the big winners are definitely the fans, which is great for us.